Starting tomorrow, students in Berrien County will no longer be required to wear a mask at school. The health department overturned its mandate, citing conflicting language in the state budget signed by Governor Whitmer today. Oxfam's Marisa Overly is live from the newsroom to explain. Marisa? Janice and Aaron, the budget says any local health department with a mask mandate will lose funding. However, the governor's office deemed that section unconstitutional. At this point, though, Berrien County legal advisors are interpreting it differently. A reluctant decision Wednesday in southwest Michigan, the Berrien County Health Department rescinding its public health order requiring masks in the classroom. Leaders doing so to avoid losing its nearly $1.5 million budget, which pays for vital community programs like immunizations, food protection, and vision services. We are urging that school leaders and superintendents take the action to require those masks within their school settings, continue that layer of protection to make sure they're keeping students and staff safe and learning in the classroom. Jillian Conrad, the agency's communications director, says it's due to the 2022 state budget, which writes any emergency order issued by a health department, including enforcing a face covering mandate for students, risks being negatively impacted financially. In a letter to lawmakers, Whitmer explained the public health code gives health officials tools needed to protect people from diseases like COVID-19. And the legislature cannot use the budget to act against the code because they disagree. But Conrad says its county attorneys reached another answer. Although Governor Whitmer has stated publicly that this language included in the budget bill is unconstitutional, our own legal experts have advised that it might stand unless challenged in a court of law. The department says, though, it's hopeful for a ruling in their favor. If it goes before a judge, leaders just waiting for now. If and when that happens, we would be able to reinstate that mask order, especially if our data still supports that high transmission we've been experiencing. Now, there are a lot of questions associated with this. We will be talking with a constitutional lawyer tomorrow to try and get some more answers for you, uh, as well as additional information. But for now, you can find this story on our website at fox17online.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News. Thank you, Marisa. Meanwhile, other parts of the budget that were signed off on today will help expand eligibility for child care subsidies, and provide $1,000 bonuses to child care workers. It will also repair or replace 100 local bridges, clean up polluted sites, and fix aging dams. The budget also addresses drinking water concerns by funding the replacement of lead service lines in Benton Harbor. Now, for a closer look at how the money breaks down, head to fox17online.com.